Hi, I'm Cindy Blake. I am a recent CEO shadow at GitLab, and by day I am the Senior Marketing Manager for Secure and Defend. So I want to take a minute to, um, to share some of what I learned in being the CEO shadow. I learned so much I could do a blog on each one of these topics if only at the time. Um, but some of my key ahas and, and uh, takeaways I, I think are, uh, I'd like to share. So the first one is um, the week that I was shadowing, we did lots of investor meetings and investors are a very different persona and we need to be able to sell to them as well. So from a marketing standpoint, you know, they need to understand how we're transforming the industry and how we're different. They also want to understand what risks there might be to their investment of our remote manifesto. You know, every single investor asked about remote and most were pretty skeptical. So instead of just talking about the obvious advantages like being able to hire the right people in the right place, um, you know, being able to uh, have better work-life balance, we need to be able to articulate how GitLab contributes to our working remote. And it's not just remote, really. It's our methods enable concurrent business. And that's what allows us the transparency and the agility and the ability to iterate better than anyone else. You know, um, I, I think it's, it's a side benefit that, um, that that concurrent business enables remote. Um, but we, we really need to be able to talk about how GitLab is part of that and our own tools are part of that. Um, secondly, you know, I think Sid is an amazing leader and he's going to do some incredible things in his career. He's meticulously detailed and with the intention of using that detail to continuously improve every metric, whether it's how well we adhere to our values or how well we achieve our revenues or product improvement. You know, the three key things he talks about with investors are achieving IACV, um, delivering better product, and having happy customers. And while, you know, the, the way he goes about doing things, the methods may seem a little bit like micromanaging to some, the way, this way of work um, that is defined for, you know, one-on-ones, for group meetings, and, you know, other meetings at GitLab, that's really the secret sauce that affords us the throughput that we have at GitLab. And as he builds a team that he can rely on and delegate to, that throughput's really only going to increase exponentially as everyone, um, you know, continues to use that same method and methodology themselves. The other piece of this is the handbook first rule. It really, it in it forces you to articulate exactly what you're proposing relative to the current policies and methods. So the nuance is really sometimes not understood. And it, it, you know, it was a nuance that I didn't fully get, but it's incredibly powerful and it's empowering to the individuals because it means you know, as we say, everyone can contribute, but they really can um, contribute at every level, regardless of their role. And so the, the way of work um, that really took on a whole new um, meaning for me and a, a new appreciation. The third key takeaway, um, I was able to make some contributions, perhaps in some unexpected ways. By attending investor meetings, I provided input on, you know, how to, we might clarify or tailor our marketing message for investors. And I also provided different perspectives on um, how we might market either an IPO or a direct listing. You know, venture capital is certainly not an area that I normally have anything to do with, but it was really fun to apply my marketing skills to an entirely new topic. And I think I provided a fresh perspective and some new ideas in spite of the fact that it's not really my wheelhouse. And, you know, I think not only this experience has influenced me, but I think the shadows can influence the CEO as well by speaking up and providing some alternative viewpoints. And I think Sid really appreciates that. You know, I always tend to give someone the benefit of the doubt when something doesn't go right. Um, you don't always know the context or circumstances behind it. And 
for as an example for um, one investor meeting the investors seemed to have stood us up that and it was part of this kind of speed dating style of meetings where the investors rotate through through the meeting rooms and you know by looking into her absence and and trying to understand what happened i discovered that she was told there was a the meeting would be at a different time and so we were able to reschedule the visit you know, it's easy to conclude one thing when circumstances might be entirely different so uh, my greatest advice to subsequent shadows is be sure and speak up if you have a different perspective share it that's the value that you bring to the ceo you know sid is constantly learning he views everything as an opportunity to absorb new information and see things differently and that includes whether it's interviews, investor meetings, board meetings, you know, meetings with individual contributors, everything. He honestly appreciates a constructive and healthy debate. So don't be taken aback. You know, I, I think sometimes he may interpret comments a little bit more literally than they were intended. So it's always good to engage in a two-way conversation to validate the understandings from both sides. You know, the other thing I learned, Sid absolutely walks the talk with regard to diversity and inclusion. He even pointed out comments that I made about job candidates that could have been better articulated and quantified rather than just my initial gut reaction. Also, like when, in, when greeting visitors, I offered to go pick up the visitors in the lobby and Sid actually questioned whether it was a gender thing, you know, and in some ways I think maybe it was, but it wasn't because John or Sid made it that way. It was because I expected myself to be the one to go and fetch the visitors. And graciously, you know, Sid suggested that John go get them and that I walk them out later. So um, it was, it was really refreshing um, to, to have that thoughtfulness. You know, my time at, as a, GetLab CEO Shadow has really made me appreciate this company and its leadership even more, if that's, if that's even possible. We have such an amazing opportunity to not only lead the DevOps revolution and help companies become more efficient and effective as software-enabled businesses, but also to lead a revolution in a way of work. And, you know, the other thing is Sid's thoughts and plans go far beyond our roadmaps. He's working with entrepreneurs to improve training and education for software developers in underdeveloped countries, improving not only the software industry diversity, but also improving the lives and economies of those locations and people. He truly is a genuinely good person and a terrific role model. I highly recommend the CEO Shadow Program to anyone. Be sure and sign up.